currently in Sogumsan, which means Salt Mountain in Korean, located in Wonju. I actually came here in 2018 with my sister, but this will be my first time here with Jason. And from what I hear, things have changed over the last few years. Once you enter, you will see many shops and restaurants. This is a traditional Korean snack called pangtigi made with rice and corn grain. I highly advise everyone to wear their running shoes and to bring a water bottle. Or buy some at the shops here because once you start to climb, you won't find anywhere that sells water. We are going to do the full loop today. We bought our tickets at the ticket booth for $9 per person, but just two years ago, it cost $3. So there has definitely been a hike in the price. Wave hi. By the way, these stairs are no joke. This place is very famous for having not only the longest but also the highest suspension bridge in Korea with a length of 200 meters and a height of 100 meters. This is a much better deal than the Vancouver's Capilano suspension bridge which is 137 meters long and 70 meters high and it actually costs $71 per person. This is just my opinion but I do tell all of my guests that the Capilano suspension bridge is a tourist trap and it's not worth paying the hefty price. I would always recommend the alternative suspension bridges like Sky Pilot or Lynn Canyon. We didn't get the chance to check out the Sky Garden because it was closed. I think it's actually still under construction, but here's a sneak peek. Wow, the view here is just so breathtaking. Wow, look how far we are from the suspension bridge we crossed. We are so high up on the mountain, and to be honest, as someone who is afraid of heights, it was kind of scary to walk this part. Our next stop is the Sky Tower, which gives you the best view of the bridge. I was shaking with fear while doing this. I started to get really nervous every time I looked down. The Oolong Bridge is the longest span pedestrian crossing in Korea and 24th in the world with a length of 404 meters. This was definitely not here when I came with my sister because it was constructed in 2022. Uh, 
Oh, it's so scary. The glass floors were even scarier. Oh well, my god, it's scary. Oh, actually, it's quite scary, Jason. <laughs> For lunch, we tried some Korean Italian fusion. We ordered two pizza and a salad, but didn't expect the pizzas to come with a salad on top. <laughs> I bet none of you have seen a salad on a pizza before. Shortly after returning to my grandfather's home, my great aunt picked me up to go to her place. Surprisingly, my busy uncle was there too. Whenever I go to Korea, my uncle is usually unavailable and out of the country. But Chuseok time was definitely the best time to catch up with him. For dinner, we went to Korean barbecue. One thing I really love about Korea is the unlimited amount of side dishes without any questions asked. My uncle made me somek, which means soju and beer combined. Jason and I, we ate until our stomachs were full. After dinner, we went back to my great aunt's home and chatted over for hours over grape and delicious shine muscat grapes before heading to bed. My great uncle asked if I wanted to hit the gym with him early in the morning, but I didn't have my gym clothes, so I declined and slept in. It's what he calls you. I had a delicious breakfast with my uncle and one of my second cousin who was awake. After the big breakfast, my uncle drove us to a nearby station. We had to quickly head back to Seoul because I had made plans to meet with my other uncle for dinner. I went to my uncle's place to see my grandma and for dinner we went out to eat kaibitang since we already had Korean barbecue last night. Honestly, the kaibitang in Korea is cheaper and more meaty so I make sure to actually eat as much kaibitang as I can while I am in Korea. Just an update, I will be posting some Vancouver vlogs along with my Korean vlogs. Thank you and subscribe!